What's going on, people? Welcome to United View. What are you lot saying? Welcome to the Flexi Crazy Show. Levels, 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 man. We say I'm good, you know. I'm I'm chilling. Um, I'm waiting for mad. I'm waiting for someone to come and fix my Peloton bike, fam. I'm in killing it. <laughs> You've been putting in some mad miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you hear the doorbell go off, that's the guy that's come to fix my bike. It's one of them annoying ones when they say I'm gonna come between this time. And like eleven yeah. or four, bro. Something crazy. <laughs> they give you the yeah. mad, yeah. They give you the mad times. What about you, though? What's going on? How you doing? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everyone's oh, good. I'm happy. I'm good. Transfer deadline day is what it is, isn't it? Didn't get no one. You know what I mean? But it was good to go into Sky. It's good to elevate. It's good to do yeah. things. It's good to good to do a wicked stream um, for a couple of hours. Everyone getting involved, even though yeah. you know we we weren't getting any incomings. It was just I just looked back on it and said, you know what? We're just. We're just building wicked. The community is growing. Everyone's yeah. growing. It is. It's wicked. It's wicked. So I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy. But actually, first of all, you lot, you lot know what to do. You lot going to come in and forget straight away. So please walk through the door and press a like on the video. That's all you've got to do. That's Easy. it. That's it. Make sure you lot do that and subscribe if you're new. We're very, very close to 95k. Yeah, very, very close to 95k. So we're we're building, we're building, and it's game week as well. Man United back in action as well. I'm so, so happy that we're playing close. again, bro. Because do you know what awesome. I mean? I need a game exactly. Just as we're starting to kind of get a little bit of, you know what I mean, a little bit of bit of form in there. You know what I mean? The, yeah. the national break or the winter break comes. But everyone, get involved. Let us know where you lot are watching from. Um, big up to Stanley. Let's let's actually you know what. Let's show some mad love. Um, Come, to the comments, let's do man. it, bro. Stanley says, "What's going on to my?" What? What's that? Oh, there it is. There. Oh, there you go. I was gonna say I couldn't find it. Um, Stanley That's says, um, what's going on? What's going on to my well, my two favorite YouTubers? Big up. That's Tom Wade says, afternoon, people. Um, KG getting Peloton withdrawal says Joe nah, Paul. I still, I still got in it today, even though the ball bearings are moving mad. I still got in it, bro. So yeah. Ah, got uh, someone else. Let me let me do a Yeah, you up. pick some up, pick some out, yeah, pick yeah, some yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what do you call it? The math ain't mathing. I don't know who said that. But that's fine. Um, what do you call it? 100k before May. I can feel it. Can that happen? That yeah, happen. yeah, yeah. We need distraction 100 percent Nadia, I'm here for you. We're here to distract. 100 <laughs> percent We do, we do. Let's get into this, yeah, because I want to have a proper conversation. We and I know to. sometimes we we struggle with proper conversations because we sometimes things we go off. What's well, okay. not? That's a lie. We don't go off, we have Great conversations week in, week out. It just happens if it goes off on a tangent. That's what a conversation. That's what a conversation does. People need to remember that a conversation just goes. When we talk to your friends, it just goes anywhere. But well, go ahead, let's go, let's do it. Do you know, but do you know what's mad? Do you know what's mad about what you just said? Yeah, mm -hmm. like we we by me saying that we're doing it now. Like we're 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 already not talking about what I want to talk about. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm ready. I'm locked in. What are we talking about? Right. So. I was deep in this transfer window, yeah? Yes. And lack of, and on the internet and like, even like people have hit me up, called me and messaged me and just other United fans that I know and just on social media, everything really. Yeah. And we're all very, we're all very angry. We're all very angry. Well, I say, I say we're all very angry. A lot of people are angry, right? Saying like, the have, you know, the board have let Ralph down. He's got no say. Um, Man United, typical penny pinching, like we're not prepared, still no central midfielder and all these things. And I'm like, yeah, man, typical. Like, But then I took a step back here and I want to discuss both sides of this. There you go. Look, yeah. Fat Boy says the club's this club's finished. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there is a negative, there's a negative feeling around the club because of obviously what's happened. It's been a crazy, crazy season. Like, yeah. you know, the manager, go, like, we know all that. Yeah, I don't need to go back into that. Yeah. But I was thinking, yeah, and I'll let you answer first and then I'll come in. Wicked. Has 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 Ralph been let down by the board by not getting anyone in January? Or is this part of a bigger plan? That's my question. All right. That's my that's my that's the discussion point. That's a the, proper discussion I like, point. I like this. And let's let's really go into this and let's we can do a deep dive into this situation. I don't think Ralph's been let down by the board at all. I think he runs it. I think Ralph knows. Ralph has always said that he wanted to trim the squad. That's facts. That's like there's nothing, there's no way getting around that. And let's look at this, let's look at the substitutions that he makes. We look at Fred and McTominay, they'd usually play 90 minutes. 
Donny van der Beek probably comes on five minutes. Now, we do know Pogba comes back into that. So Pogba's now a midfielder that is going to be available in the midfield. Yeah, we, we, we struggle with Pogba already because we've had Pogba and played him out on the left anyway, just to accommodate Mick Fred. We were now, arguing that that's still his best position. There you go. Yes, that's is. that's been one of the that's been one of the arguments. So yes, you can go in and get um a midfielder, but we've already well we we loaned Donny. It should show you everything about what he thinks about the midfield. If you said if he needs a midfielder, and I know Donny's probably not his type, but he wouldn't get rid of him is as a point. But in the midfield, he's not rotating a lot. I think he keeps and when he does rotate, Matic, yes, it went wrong when Mat Matic can only play 60 minutes. Fair. Give or take 60 minutes, 70, not two games in a week. I don't know, like, and if if you asked him, if you asked Ran Ranić fully, like, did you want a midfielder? He'd probably be like, no, nah, I could have dealt with one. But he feels like he's got riches at this club. When we say riches in Cavani, Ronaldo, Rashford, Sancho, these are good, these are good players. These are, and uh, now Alanga, it's mad because I watched the Ahmad highlights and I'm like, raw, like, I can't believe we let him go <laughs> almost, but then it it is what it is. I believe that we we're making a um not saying making a mountain out of a molehill and that, but us fans though, like this is the season that we got Sancho. This is the season that we got Varane, you know. And a good manager works with what he's got. Ralph doesn't mm -hmm. have this as an excuse. Ralph can't say because we said it before. You can't say because I didn't have this player. I can't make it because this. If we look at the um the the others, if we look at the business that um Tottenham did, it wasn't extensive. Arsenal, rubbish. I mean, what was even that? <laughs> Arsenal, we weakened themselves. West Ham pretty much did anything. You know, people so, could argue that we weakened ourselves as well. Though people would argue, how? Because we got rid of Martial and we got rid of Van der Beek. We haven't brought anyone else in. They don't play. How yeah, but they're still they're still not there to be used. Yeah, but they don't play. So and technically, we're weaker. They don't play. <laughs> like, yeah, but if someone got a big injury, then it, Martial could have cut. Like we we're still weaker, and they wouldn't play him. That's the the, the issue is we're. What you're about, saying? If Marcus Rashford got injured, you're saying Martial. Marcus Rashford. Played. No, I'm saying that we they don't play. As in our team has not tried. Martial was um what fifth choice. He said he wanted to leave. That he, he, yeah, he was gone. So like, we, he didn't want to leave. Forget about it. Didn't matter what Ralph said. Ralph actually wanted to work for him. Let me get these super chats out. Sam, big up yourself, man, for the super chat. Appreciate that. Um, Spurs will beat us to top four and we won't win a trophy. I always predict the best possible scenario, but 2022 just feels different in a bad way. Big up, Sam, for showing love as usual every time you come through, bro. I hope I hope you're not right on that one. <laughs> Emmerich, Abramian says, KG, you laughed at me. Who's laughing now? Visca Barca. <laughs> <laughs> I I, loved, uh, I was gutted that that deal went through, but big up. Uh, you know what? It's more funny because it's worked out for me that abamian has gone, and I pray he starts scoring goals. I pray yeah. Yeah, that makes it even more funny. Yeah, that makes it even more funny. Listen, Abamian leaving is a good thing for us. You yeah, know, it's funny. It's, it's, it's like funny. you know. And I now they have to rely on Enketia and and Lacazette. They didn't. I honestly thought right, they let him go. Maybe they're going to bring in a little a little Sutton. It's just straight. Ring the phone vibes in Ketia, pick up the pick up the cellular. And who are you ringing, bruv? Should have rang your agent to get a move. That's what you should have rang. Tabara says, um, I don't agree with you, KG. Ralph Rannick wanted a defensive yeah. midfielder. No, I, I, I um, said that again. I said that he probably was looking for he probably like if you push come to shove, he said, nah, I could have dealt with a midfielder. Look yeah. at them, they arrived now. Yeah, I'm gonna let yeah. him in. You're gonna have to hold it down for a second, bruv. Oh, they've yeah. come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop in it. Stop slow. One second. I'm go to your team. Go to your team. Um, why did he take it off? Why has he done that? Why not just leave it on the same thing and just walk off? Why? Why has he left me with the thing in the middle, leaving me having to change the thing? It's such a wally. Let's go. Let's take that off. Let's take that off. He gave me no warning. He just turned it off. You know what I mean? We got a pattern up. There you go. Let's put this a little bit higher until he comes back. Let's go. So what happens to a man that gives them no warning. Um, Miles Johnson says, worried about Ralph's lack of power moving forward. Wanted a midfielder and green light Jesse transfer. Um, club blocked both. Don't see him gaining power um, when he moves upstairs, says Miles. So that's that again, that's the alternative kind of look to this as well. KG is a prep, that's why. <laughs> Pella gone, 100%. 
Um, and David Naheem, big up David, says, um, big up gentlemen, no longer the fence guy. Um, the team, this team will struggle with fitness as the season goes on. No DM. Uh, fourth is a fight for survival. It's definitely going to be a scrap. Definitely going to be a scrap. Lil Yo-Yo says, Obama who? Obama what? Obama out of here. Asna. No striker. Yeah, Arsenal. Arsenal just doing Arsenal things, innit? Um, what I will say, I was going to bring this argument of like, he look, we've, we've known that we wanted a... Look at your back now. Man gave me no warning and just cut it off. Why didn't you just leave it on so that I could, didn't have to restructure everything? Sorry. Why did you do that? Sorry. <laughs> just a straight sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> sorry, bro. There you go. Look at this. Look uh, what you uh, done. But you know what's so annoying about the whole thing? Yeah? You know the people that ring like the intercom, but it's not for your yeah. door, fam. What? Oh, a... oh I... so it's not even them, bro. It weren't even them, bro. I was. He said, "Sorry, bro. I, <laughs> I wasn't nice. I wasn't nice. I don't think I dropped to. I, I dropped a muffled dickhead." <laughs> oh, say it with your chest next time, man. <laughs> no, 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 because you can't be calling people dickheads that like, just trying to do deliveries and that. Exactly, man's just trying to do his job. You're out of order. That's what I'm saying. So I just done a muffled. What? Just tell me where you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, next time when the when the doorbell rings, just put your thing on mute and go. I will. Go. I will. I will. Yeah. Basically, I was getting to the point of this. Yeah. So you yeah. know, people are saying uh, that you know Ralph wanted Jesse to leave, but the board said no. So basically, he doesn't have any power. Don't even go upstairs. My thing is this. Yeah. My thing is this. When you deep it, look at where. This is the other side of the argument. Look at where we are as a football club now, yeah? Yeah. This thing's annoying me. It's not in the middle. Hold on. There you go. Look at where we are as a football club, right? Mm -hmm. we, 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 we've we got a high turnover of, of players leaving in the summer. Yeah. yeah. We've got a manager who's an interim manager who, let's face it, as of all the way through January when the transfer window's open, we don't know what he's going to do. We don't know if we're going to achieve anything. We don't know if we're going to win anything. We don't know if we're going to get top four. Um, and he doesn't know if he's going to be here at the end of the season. Is it fair mm -hmm. to say that, Ralph? Yeah. Randy? We don't know. Could do a madness and get the job. Might not do a madness and get the job. Could yeah. do a madness and still not get the job. You don't yeah. know. Any of them three eventualities. So if you think about it, is it is it correct? And this isn't really me asking you. This is me kind of talking to the other side and opening up the conversation. Is it correct to then get just any midfielder or invest heavily in a midfielder when then everything can change in four months when a load of players leave, a new manager comes in? What if what if Pochettino comes in and says, don't want him? What I, 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 You lot was talking about 85 plus whatever add-ons for, for Declan Rice. I thought we was doing that or whatever. Yeah. And another thing what I will say is actually we're getting played as fans. And I don't mean by the club because we, we know about getting played by the club like yeah. that we, when, when it happens and we don't get this and we don't get that because one thing I would agree with is that a defensive midfielder has been on the menu for time and we ain't got one so do you know what I mean for, so, 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 so for that bit yeah so for that bit cool we've been played but actually where we're getting played yeah is that we see like a journalist just say yeah Zakaria is like three four six million like Man United might mm -hmm. talk to him yeah. And then we're like, even if like people we haven't really tracked the player, Kamara, we're like, yeah, like he's available, he's gonna his, his contract's gonna run down, like we'll just get him. Like, but really, we're actually never in for these guys, they're not our targets. Never, like because we're Man United, because we're Man United, a journalist literally comes and says something, and and like it's like we want it. So what I'm saying is, I'm not saying that if we would have got Zakaria, that would have been a bad move. I was in the transfer window saying, listen, I'd probably take a gamble, yeah, like, like you yeah. know, why not? But actually, when you think about it, if we don't know where we're going to be in the summer, stupid. What 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 use is it? Like just throwing good money off the bat? Was... Isn't that the same thing that we're always moaning about for saying like, oh, we've got this player on this big wages. Where was the plan? Why did we get him? We've just seen it happen with Donny, and that was in yeah. a longer transfer window in the summer. So yeah, I'm my thing is is that I completely understand why we're pissed off as fans in it because it always seems like we never get the thing that we really really need. And we're never prepared for it. Because realistically, how could we still not have a defensive midfielder after all these windows? But actually, yeah. when I deep it right now in this in this yeah. position yeah. that we're in, yeah. it's like, rah, how do we how do we go and get the guy that we really, really want to get? I like and um and this is interesting here. One Don says, Flex, we're not hearing that shit. 
And this is fine. That's what I'm saying. I just want to open up conversation. I, I get it. I get it. And I understand there's fans upset right now. And they're like, oh, mm. man, we don't get what we want. We don't get this. But I'm sick and tired. of we, we keep talking about player power, a manager needs to come in and pick his own players. Point blank. You know, that, that has to be the situation. If, if Ralph is staying, then by all means, this January was a failure because you should have just given him something to be successful for him to stay for the long term. I don't believe that they feel that Ralph is the man for the long term. Now, you talk about mm -hmm. is Ralph in control. Ralph knew that he couldn't sell Lingard. Even if he says it with his, with his chest and says, oh, I need to sell Lingard, we're light now. There's a situation we probably would have, but before, had the, had the uh, Mason issue not been um, come up, it, I think Lingard goes, yeah? But that's now, yeah. that, now that that's no longer an option. You can't do that. And even the club, if you look at the club, I still feel the club scrambling because they don't really know how to handle the situation. Yes, it's been silence. It's been silence and everything. But it, just imagine now, you're still looking at, they're saying, how does it look if we even bring in another player anyway? Just like that. What does, what's the situation? We, us, us fans, we just need to sometimes, in this moment, I say chill. Yeah, because uh, there's going to be an overhaul come summer. Irregardless, whatever happens, there'll be an overhaul and the new man gets to select his players because Donny was bought for um, Oli. Oli didn't, Oli didn't want him. That's it. And then we had Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin wasn't wa um, wanted by whoever. We Think about all the signings that, all the signings that um, LBG made. Mourinho decided that he didn't want them. So any manager that steps in is going to say, these are not my players, these are my players. It just doesn't work like that. It, it, we, we need to be real right now. And I know everyone's upset, but we believe this team was good enough to be in the top four, as is. There's no excuses to say, oh, um, we can't compete because we don't have a DM. No, bro. Look at the people that we're competing with. Tottenham and Arsenal, bro. Arsenal don't have a recognised striker. Yes, Tottenham are whatever, but I still believe we're, better, we're, we're a better team than Tottenham. For yeah. an, if you, yeah. for an 11. So what we come and then what we're saying that we can't beat West Ham to it. All the players need to do is application. We got Pogba, bruv. In a fresh Pogba coming back, we got Ronaldo, we got Cavani. Uh, no excuses. Now, everyone's telling mm. me a lot, the low's the best thing since sliced bread. Then let him do what he needs to do on the wing. Let him do his thing. We got Sancho, bruv. We have spent money. So now saying, oh, we can't we can't get into the top four because of because of this. That's bullshit. Sorry, I'm not having mm. it. I'm not having it, and but, I, I'm sick and tired of spending where we don't get we don't get what we want from the um, from this spend. So Daryl nice. Street says, "Let me get through the super chats." Daryl Street says, um, "Big up to the both of you from DC. How are um, how all of the clubs uh, clubs summer plans um, for recruitment going to hold up if we end up in the Europa League?" So basically, again, Daryl basically saying he's fearing top four. Santiago says, question, how do we rationalise not accepting the offer for Andreas Pereira? It would have yeah. legit paid for Zakaria, exactly, but they just didn't want him for some yeah, reason. Wow. Wow. Um, Issa says, Lingard's situation was handled very badly, but with all the players' loans suspended, um, he can be a very important player. On yeah. form, he can give us a lot. I agree with that. I agree with that. In the situation we ended up in, it got to the point where we couldn't let him go. Um, Lil Yo says, Give Ralph credit. Ralph will use the youth to get us to the end of the season. Hannibal will step up in this run. Pogba masterclass coming, and I think that's important to remember as well. Yeah, I mean, there are some rumors that Hannibal's going to come into the squad. I you know he's already used that, he's already used the Langer, and you've got Pogba coming back. And maybe they're looking at it like that. Maybe that's why Ralph did actually say, You know what, let Jesse go if you want to let him go. And obviously, obviously, I know up above they said no, but you know, that. That is that is what it is. Um, David G says Ranik is actually happy. He said that the squad is a bit too big in interviews. He did. He did say that. Um, he did. All, he, he also. He did also. He said he wants to trim it, but he also said obviously. But with COVID and stuff like that, you never know. So yeah, basically we've done a little bit of a mix and match. Pogba back from injury is in addition to central midfield, um, and Hannibal would be an option too. So and it I'm is. A, do you know what? This is why I really wanted to talk about this year, because I feel like it is. The, the, I love. I love shows like this because. It's not just like everyone's on the same page and everyone agrees. People feel really different about this. And I see why people are vexed. I really do. But I just think in this time, I think what you said there about the other teams we're going up against and there yeah. being no excuses for us, I 100% agree because if you can't make top four with this squad that we've got when you've let a couple of players go that were never getting any game time and with Martial, it's annoying because I wanted to see him under Ralph. But as soon as Ralph got here, his first thing was, yeah, spoke to Martial, said he wants to leave, mate. Don't even want to play here anymore. Yeah. Like, it wasn't even like, 
oh, let's just get rid of him. He said, I don't want to be here. And how many times have we said, oh, when we're in the shit streak, when, when people like Martial have been injured, not even playing, and players who don't want to play for this club, players who don't want to fight for this club, get out. And that's not us going mad at him. It's his right to say, I don't want to be here. And the right thing has happened. He was sold right. because he doesn't want to be here. So at the end it's of the loan, day... He's loaned, he's loaned. He's loaned. Sorry, he's loaned, sorry, he's loaned. Which actually, again, is a pretty smart thing because if if a new manager comes and he smashes it at Sevilla and then you go, rah, Tony, listen, I know you didn't want to be or whatever. You're going to be the guy. Maybe get him going again. I don't think that will happen, but there's yeah. an option there. Or he might smash it there and someone better and bigger than Seville come in and pay Fantastic. big piece. Or win. Seville, Sevilla win, win La Liga because they're behind Real Madrid by not many points. They win that and then we go, rah, you lot are La Liga champions. Look, Martial scored 10 goals and give us X. Win. Do you know what I'm saying? So... Look, there's a lot of things that have not made sense, yeah, throughout this whole year. And it's been an yeah. awful year. It's been an awful um, season so far for Man United. Mm -hmm. But I just think robbing Peter to pay Paul, as they say, and ending up back in the same situation when we so could get to the summer with, with another Donny on our case. And I don't want that. I'd rather us actually struggle for a little bit more because we're struggling anyway. And Ralph's starting to steady the ship a little bit with what he's got. He's getting familiar with what he's got rather than try and reintegrate new players. Now, what I, what I would say is we've got to try and look at some of the positives because it's very easy to just be stuck in this rut. And I've been, look, listen, I've done, I done a video when we were in that rut saying, you know, well, we, we did it. We The video was called United um, Players Attitude Stinks. I remember that video yeah. we done when we was in, we was in shit street. And this yeah. is, you know, football changes weekly. It changes game by game. That's what happens. But we're yeah. emotionally invested as fans. So, Every video might be different, especially after like a, a two week period or a free game period and whatever. Mm -hmm. There's not much positives. There's not. But if you're drawing on one, I would say. I look at where we are on the table, which is obviously fourth. There's a yeah. lot of work to do. But with the squad that we actually do have players that are actually here and playing, forget what we could have got. Yeah. It's good enough. It's good that it should, we should be getting top four with that. We should Ralph, be as, as bad as we've been. Ralph's only lost one game. Mm. That's that's a positive. We're not leaking in goals crazy anymore. We're turning up. So yes, we're not um we're not playing solid for 90 minutes, but there is there there has been improvement. There has been gradual improvement. I still think that we don't know what you're gonna get with Man United. So I don't think we're I still think that there's days when you come in, you're like, I don't know what team I'm gonna see today. Oh, hundred percent, and that's still gonna happen. <laughs> we're not turning a, I'm not saying we turn a corner in any way, shape, or form, but I just it's, it's got to the point of the season where you say to yourself, listen, guys, it's the business end and I'm happy with what I'm building with. I'm happy with this. I'm going to keep going. Ralph has to make the best of this situation. We got in. Bruno is turning around. He's back into form. We got Rashford recovering and finding form. All we need is for a Sancho to just... Now, and Sancho's going to get minutes, yeah? Like, real minutes now. It's not one of them before. It was like kind of on the bench. It's one of those things when we have to play you through your shit stage, if that makes sense. So yeah. now it's like before we we had a wealth of talent, so we could swap and change. So, uh, someone else can play on the wing. Now it's like big man, we actually need you. <laughs> it's got to that mm. stage where you actually. But then I think that's a good thing. Sancho probably came to start, probably came to work himself into form and work himself into a rhythm. You know, even we had him. You know them games around the Champions League, but um, just before we. Before it ended, that group stage, where he started yeah. to see the best of Sancho. Now it's like, it's, bro, it's Sancho time, you know? And that I get excited by that. There's a lot of things I'm like, you know what? Like, push comes to shove. These guys really have to step up. You're looking at Ronaldo. Ronaldo now needs, everybody needs to, their game needs to elevate. We have to be honest. We have seen an improvement from McTominay and Fred. We have. Yeah. yeah. Anyone says that we haven't. Is a liar. Like, yeah, I think like, that the thing with with when we say that kind of statement is how long will it last for? Can they continue to do it? We still do, do need better months? in the long run, but yeah, yeah that's, that's the question. That's the question. Can they, the question. Can they hold it down for four months? That's all asking for for McTominay. We've had them this long, bruv. Can we just get through? Yeah, can we? Now, nah, I'm not saying that McTominay is the best player in the world. I'm not even rating these two as midfielders, but they've held it down and they've they've been they've been a bright light. We're talking McTom. People might not want to talk about it, but Fred's assist. What are you talking about? Three, three or three or four assists. Yeah. Well, when we weren't firing as well, the only one who stepped up and delivered something. There you go. And then same with McTominay. He stepped up in games and stuff, and 
It's trying to win that midfield. Like, it's not as bad as, and don't get me wrong, the, the whole, in terms of how the club is run, that's bad. But I know that changes will be made at the end of the season, give or take. It has to, because... Yeah, no, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. But, um, Fat Dom says, um, Ralph ain't got no control. Another Glazer human shield. I want to talk about that a little bit about him not having control and this a lot of people saying that it means he's just this means he's just a puppet because he didn't get no signings um and he said he wanted Jesse to leave and they said no so they've 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 done him over basically because they're not listening I want to talk about that in a sec Lil Yoyo says Sancho Renaissance come in right wing space calling him 100% agree with that it's his now um Emmanuel says, um, the club are taking a huge risk with this strategy. It might work. It might not work. Still think the DM role is of huge importance to our success. Um, and I agree in the in the in in terms of we need to sort that. But, like, there's this thing as well, though, that, like, if we signed a, 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 a DM, yeah, which, let's be honest, let's just, let's just have that, you know, like, when you just lay your cards down and be really honest. This is a safe That's place for all of us it. to speak. You lot are home as well, yeah? People here. How many of you have seen Bubakar Kamara play football? I'm just being honest. And and when you have, and when you have, how many, what's the sample size? I want to know what the sample size is. That, that's the first question. Zakaria, highly tipped because it's the name that's kind of fed to us on social media and stuff. But how many people have made up their own mind on him by really watching him game in, game out? That's the second question. I'm just being I'm just I'm just I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. Third, who was the other guy we was linked with? Zakaria. Uh one, ha Jesse, ha Fred, ha oh ha ha Hadara. 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 Yeah. Hadara. Be honest. How many of you have sat and watched Amadou Hadara, right? For game in, game out to make an honest assessment to see whether he is capable of <laughs> of making a Man United. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's that. Then the other one is. Then the other one is. This is the this is the fourth question before we carry on with this. <laughs> the fourth question is this year, and YouTube don't count, and FIFA don't count. The fourth question because Zakaria is wicked on my on my last uh, ultimate team. I done uh, my last career mode playing centre back. Wicked, and then sometimes I play centre mid. Wicked, great attributes. Then the next question is yeah. My next one is this. Apart from <laughs> apart from yeah, the two games. Yeah, apart from the two games that Frank Kessie played against Man United last year in the Europa League for AC so. Milan, where he scored, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm just saying, yeah. where he scored, where he scored um, that goal he at Old good. Trafford and, yeah, he and played good. good. I'm not, I'm not saying he didn't play good against us in them two games. I'm just saying, yeah. apart from them two games, how many other <laughs> Frank Kessie games have you watched? So all them four questions that I've just asked. What do you think the answer is to that? Hey, these like ain't seen nothing. Everyone's, bro, when I tell you, yeah, there's so many, I'm honest about it. There's bare me's in this place, bare me's in the chat. These men don't need watch YouTube comps as well, fam. I'm, everyone does it, literally. Because when have of you course. got the time? I'm saying, well, right. Of course. You're, you're it's working, not even a criticism. It's, bro, I'm just highlighting it. If you're working... You're holding down the nine to five and you're doing this and you're following your team, bruv. When have you got time for all this football, bruv? Living life and just watching La Liga, bruv. Is your name, uh, is your name, what's that woman? Sue something. Sue Barker or something from, um... <laughs> <laughs> who are you, bruv? Like, the only people that I know that used to bang out football was the old school, like, what, Des Lynam and them man there, bruv. You're not that, bruv. I'm telling you, I'm bringing it back. But I'm telling you right now, yeah, man, them just be unless you're like a contestant for question of sport, bro. You're the only ones that I'm really gonna hear about this. Yeah, I watch every league. What are you doing with your life, bro? Get to work, fam, because no one's. And, gonna and, and, and this one here, this one here. Um, oh no, not this one, because I like taking stuff that go against you know what I'm saying on challenges. What it's about. Yeah, yeah. Yay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Says ridiculous question. How how many people saw Diaz, Salah, Rodri, etc.? That's a bad question, Flex. Listen, yeah, 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 yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> but I'm not saying that these players definitely ain't gonna be it. I'm like, all I'm saying is the energy that I saw people coming with for these players saying, Yes, Kamara's the one, we got to <laughs> sign him. Like, 
How do you well, know? Sometimes, like, you, sometimes it sometimes, can work. It can work, like, can it? It can work. I wouldn't. Can work, I wouldn't. But, I wouldn't. Bellingham. You know, you. Everyone knows the story. My Jude Bellingham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. saw him. I just heard great things. I heard. Yeah, he's playing that Birmingham, and he's mad young. And I was like, we should have him. Like, how could we like, miss look, out? John John you Denton. Know? John Denton. John Denton says, I didn't even finish the Zakaria comp. I watched. Uh, I didn't finish the one I watched, but he looked good. Sign him up. And like I remember, I remember. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I remember when um, I uh, we was on tour and we were linked with Milinkovic Savage for the whole summer. You don't oh, remember this? Remember. We were, yeah, remember when it was the Savage? It was Milinkovic Savage the whole summer, they and we didn't get him in it. We weren't going to get him. And huh? They were yeah. Saying that. Well, that's what, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, so Milinkovic Savage here yeah, from Lazio, and then it was like right, not really going to get him, but. Sean Longstaff's doing bits at Newcastle. He's the man. Young, up and coming, is going to be next Carrick. Whichever the taller Longstaff brother is, I think it's Sean. One yeah. of the Longstaffs, bro. So I tell you now, I remember watching this wicked compilation, bro. He was on loan at Blackpool. Yeah. Like, it's probably still on the YouTube now. He was licking shots in. Imagine I convinced myself within seven, seven minutes and 42 seconds, yeah? Yeah. That like, yeah, he's all right, you know. He looks good. Bro. He could, he could, that could work. You Just from watching the compilation, bro. It's All stupid. Right. Can I do you one better? Where is he now? He can't even start for Newcastle. Can I do you one better? Can I do you one better? When you everyone yeah. finishes this here, yeah. When you finish this, I want you to type in Fred Shakhtar. <laughs> you will be saying to yourself, Oh my goodness, I need this player. I bro, watch I'm um, to everyone, homework for everyone. Go and watch the Fred comp, and you'll be like, and then you Bro. see what you have. It's insane. Fred licking shots from out the box. Bro. But what does Fred it show you, though? But what does it show you? Does it not show you that actually, like, one team, like, players, it, it shows that they can be in moments and do things at other teams. It doesn't necessarily mean they're going to do it yours. And two, you have to remember, yeah, a YouTube yeah. thing, bruv, of that, yeah, is your best bits, bruv. It's just your best bits. Like, what about all the shit things you've done? Imagine they done a highlight reel, yeah, of me and you, our best bits. Yeah, it, it'd be funny in that, yeah. But imagine they put up all the other stuff. Imagine they put up us just like when the mic don't work. Said, when the mic don't work, and I just or I just leave the I just leave the stream, bro. Ah. <laughs> Or I'm just waffling, fam. Mad contradictory, brilliant up bad stats. <laughs> going, going live, bro. And this is what I mean. You have to have the ability to laugh at yourself. Going live, the mics don't work. People are saying, "Rah, the audio is bugging out." Like, what's this? I'm leaving. This is rubbish. <laughs> no, One but... time we started the thing, and we had to turn off the stream, fam, and said so people had to just wait. <laughs> like, you got to laugh at yourself. You have to have the ability to do this. So. That's our worst bits. No one puts up a YouTube compilation of your worst bits. No, nah, no, nah, because that's just bullying, <laughs> isn't it? That's in the day, that's just bullying. No, but hold on one second. Let me get these super chats out. Hold that for because there's loads. YouTube scouting hashtag no shame says flex. I watch the DMs three to four vids, 10 to 15 minutes. Hashtag respect. Um, I only watch United games, um, so only seen them on YouTube. Um, right. says Joseph. Exactly. There you go. That, that's most of us as well. That's, that's a lot of us. us. Not, a lot of us. Very, Don't very, get me. not a lot yes, of people like, study like uh and Serie A, exactly. Yeah. There, you do get that elite football fan or elite football yeah. purist that's like, yeah, it's uh, it's Wolfsburg versus Munch and Gladbach. I'm watching 90 minutes. What? Tell me. I know all the man them. What? Uh, that just makes you want to vomit, bro. I ain't watching, <laughs> I ain't watching that. But there's guys out there. That's what I'm saying. Like, who watches? Who watch? Then Sicario come from Munch and Gladbach. Yeah, who watched Munch and Gladbach in the 90 minutes last last season, last five years? I ain't watched one. I ain't watched one. Big up the man them and the gallum who have. But I'm not in that, so I'm not gonna pretend like I am. Sam says, um, I'm not buying this Ralph loss only one game crap. Wow, every game felt like a loss. We played well for 30 minutes, nothing else says Sam. Sam yeah, is, you gotta Sam buy it, ready. Sam. Sam, Sam, seriously, on a rule, you have to buy it because it's true. You're like, it's fact. <laughs> <laughs> even if you I know the game's felt like a loss, but it's real, yeah. But it's, it's, it's a fact, fact. It's it's actually actually a fact. like it's really a fact. Like, you go on, you look at it, like, look at. <laughs> Uh, Joker J says, uh, flex YouTube clips are enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair Fantastic. enough. Fantastic. Um, I'm Blue says, not gonna lie, I watched Maguire's highlights before we signed him and thought he was fire. We all, no, wait, no, I said, and we watched him just at Leicester, just in general. But just thought he was, with yeah, him. some people's highlight rules are dead though, and you gotta think to yourself, they couldn't find anything, 
You know, when they yeah. can't find anything, yeah, when you ain't got no best bits, it's crazy. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it is like that, you know. Like Ayo, Ayo says, uh, the thing with Kamara and Zakaria um, is that in comparison to McFred, these two are pure DMs. Um, we need to, to, we need a cut price of uh, six to eight million. Can we, can we really go wrong? Yeah. And listen, I, I was, you know, I was basically saying, boy, let's think about it. I said to you, didn't I? I was like, what? You wouldn't take a little, a little gamble on, on, uh, on Zakara for like six million. Remember that show? And you was like, no, yeah. like, what's the point? Like, and I was like, come on, KG, you got to take a gamble. And actually, maybe this is me, you know, admitting that I might have got it wrong or admitting that I've got a different way well, of thinking now. It's actually all you, you already know. I, I still would have taken. I still would. Nah, I still would have taken it for six million. But the fact that we haven't means where we even ever in from? Because I was only going by, oh, maybe Man United going to talk. You're just listening to all these journalists online, and really. All that happens is a journalist says something, puts a tweet out, people flock to the internet to talk about it when we don't know shit. It's just bro. Like, right, uh, like, do, you know do you know what this one is? Dembele, yeah, Dembulance has been using Man United for oh. yeah. Oh, he I just quickly big up Aaron as well because yeah, yeah, I know Fergie Sons effects. Aaron United covers all the four leagues outside, very brilliant lad. Yeah, I know Aaron, and oh, no, Aaron, no, no. Aaron, that's what I'm saying. Aaron. He's in the ten percent. He's in the ten percent, bruv. But don't Bilingual get man can speak every language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get twisted and think everyone's doing it. I don't know. Yeah. Unless I just want to know who they are and like how do you make time and talk to me about just strategizing my days. But anyway, um, oh, almost lost it. That's it. Dembulance, yeah. Dembele, he started linking us. Remember when on that on that Saturday, all of a sudden he's coming Man United. Man United what, had, uh, just before we got Cavani, like in that bit in the summer. It no, was. recently this and and again and again. Oh, recently. this one, yeah, 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 yeah. Had, same thing. When we had that again. crazy weekend, yeah, and it was it was all looking nuts. All of a sudden, yeah. Mbele is linked to a move to Man United. No, the agents trying it because they everyone knows link yourself to Man United, yeah, and it will be paper talk because the agent will call the one hundred percent, one hundred percent. There's an Atletico Madrid um defender just wanted a new contract. He linked Godin. himself. Yeah, go go in. Remember that. Yeah. yeah. Gaetan, bruv. Nicholas yeah. Gaetan. How long have we been linked to Gaetan, bruv? Not yeah. coming, bro. Like, it did, we're a big club and it helps. Sergio Ramos was one at bruv. one stage. It was kind of bro, happening. Everyone, it and then again, it becomes a paper talk. Bro, I told you already. When you when you said, oh, I'm going to start the morning. <laughs> Flex, hear me and hear me properly. Don't waste your time, bro. No one's coming. I want you to know that. And then now, and the only reason why I'm not vexed like everybody else is because I had no expectations this January. So I'm chilling. This is the first time. Usually I'd be like everyone else in the chat because you kind of waiting for a sign in. You probably was looking through Twitter, um, typing Zachar um, Zakaria and just refreshing it all day. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's not coming, bro. It's true. Levin says, I'm sorry I missed this earlier as well, bro. Appreciate that, bro. Um, he says, uh, if Ralph starts playing youth like Hannibal or anyone else, I'd be content with long-term project, but we could have gotten a CDM on loan. Why not, Fleck? Um, look, if we would have got one on loan, cool. You know, I, I would, I'm not saying like, I'm not saying like I'm over the moon that we haven't got anyone. I'm just saying that actually in where we are, I can understand it being like mad difficult. And please take this with like in the right context. You guys know me better than this. This is not me st standing up for the Glazers saying, yeah, well done for not spending any money. No, it's a, oh. bigger, it's a bigger situation than that. I think when you, when you, you've seen me, like I've been through the range of the emotions, just like you have week in, week out at all these games over the, yeah. over this many years and stuff like that. You know, I've been in there in the, in the cauldrons doing match reactions where you lot know I want to shout and swear more than what I'm doing and I'm really keeping it. I've been there. But because of all that, I'm like, Oh, all right, let me just try and calm down and just look at what's actually happened here. It's a strategy. We've got a new manager coming in. Yeah. Potentially. Enough players le leaving. In like three, four videos ago, I think it was like 11 players, bro. 11 players, I think I said, could actually go. Like, it's crazy. And if we have that big overhaul, it's like, rah, I don't, I don't get it. Um, Aditya says, flexing KG, Liverpool fan here, even as a rival... I think how the F can your club not get a DM, bro? It's F in basic. Where's your club um, going with everything? That's the question in the summer. We'll have to find out. I that Liverpool fan is, but you know, deep down inside, I'm burning, you know. 
Oh, 100 percent It's oh. got Luis Diaz calm. It's a well-run club, good targets, top manager. No, but there's don't get that. twisted. Not every bro, when I I've actually been doing some like trailing, game around different clubs and just listen to what I've, the fans of the clubs are saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, us, bro. They're, huh? they're injected. Oh, no, yeah, they're, mo- they're, no, they're shocked bro. that they don't spend no money. They, they've been wanting it. Yeah. I was, I was, I was um, chilling with my boys, Drifty and them, man, Liverpool fans, yeah. And then um, it's so mad. I was copish. That's it. <laughs> Dude, when, did you think always miserable about Liverpool? Yeah. <laughs> and I, went there, I, I was over there and then they were talking about FSG and they was like, Vex. These, uh, big, yeah. remember, at the end of the, end of the transfer window, they were Vex. Yesterday, yeah. I was enjoying Arsenal fan TV, bro. I was just in their content, bro. I'm just like, yes. <laughs> it was brilliant. Yeah. They are, they are fuming, bro. Tottenham fans as well. Very difficult to find except for expressions. But again, yeah. I was looking for some of their fan content. If they did have more fans, they'd be upset as well. The only fans that are really in a good mood is Man City fans because they're just course, doing nothing. Chilling. Enjoying, isn't it? it that, is like, that's a club that is run with like, it's just, it's just money. It's just, there's so much money. Okay? And, like They're building for the future future. And I wish our club could operate like that, but we're not yeah. there. Now, the biggest, the only reason why I didn't want a new signing is the player power issue. I've been talking about it for the longest time. This is this is all it comes down to. If a man, I need the manager to walk in and he says, you, 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 I signed you. You're only here because of me. Yeah. Any other players that can't get on with what I'm trying to do, here's the door, piss off. That's what I want. Yeah. Now, a lot of men will be gone. So uh, whoever the new manager is, will be able to walk in and demand that respect. But if you get there first on a nice cushy contract, you'll be like, you're walking him in. It's mm. like you're walking into your house. No, it's his house. He's the manager. Yeah. Let him run it. That's all I want right now. And I, the, I'm the summer scares me. The summer, the summer, oh. the summer, the summer is something that actually should be quite exciting. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not. It's going to be why? honest. But why? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. And this is me being a bit pessimistic. Yeah. I, and this is where I'm with the people who think this bloody club. Like, I just don't, yeah. just don't trust it. Like, it should be exciting. New manager. We know a lot of players that we've been needing to move on are going to leave and stuff like that. And a new overhaul. But, like, <laughs> our track record is so shit. I, just, I don't think we'll get it right, fam. Just, oh, no. <laughs> listen. Because listen, listen, listen. not everyone can leave, bro. No, like, let's go. Let's just quickly go through this here. Just quickly, right. yeah. Let me just, let me yeah. just go quickly, yeah. Dean Henderson's going to leave, yeah? Standard leave. He's going to leave. Eric Bailly's going to leave. Standard. Let's do it from defenders, yeah? Eric Bailly's going to leave. Two and Zabie's going to leave. Yeah. Yeah, he's on loan. He's going to come back and he's going to he's going to get a um a thing. He's going to get yeah. permanent, yeah? yeah? Phil Jones is going to leave. That's four, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Matic, Matic is going to leave. Matic is going to get a new contract. We're going to do something wild. <sighs> I see what I'm saying. That's so. That's no, so. That's the, so already. Saying, I know. I'm, I'm just saying though. I'm just saying already. That's one nuts thing where you're like, how? Yeah. Okay. So let's just say that. Yeah. That's five. Yeah. He, you're saying he's gonna get a new contract, but that's he's five. Staying, that's that's just staying. Yeah. I'm just you know just re- prepare yourself. All right, cool. All right. Cool. So that's, <laughs> that's five. Yeah. That's five. Yeah. yeah. Um, midfielders. One matter is gonna leave. Even. Guaranteed. Yeah. Right. That's six. Yeah. Jesse Lingard is gonna leave. That's yeah, because he feels disrespected. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Um, Paul Pogba, I'm still saying he's going to leave. That's eight. He's going to leave. I know you're thinking the mad thing, win the Champions League, he loves Ralph, gets it happily ever after. He's gone, fam. Just like, in fact, the way you told me about the transfer thing, fam, Pogba's gone. Yeah? He's gone. No, but you ain't got those powers. No, you ain't got those powers, bro. It's like, again, it's it's, it's like, any not everyone can be bestowed with the Oracle ability, fam. I'm just saying, I get what you tried to do there because you said that we're not getting no Varane, we're not getting no Sancho. And I was like, flex, they're coming. Yes, I'm going to start. All right, cool. All right, cool. He might stay, but let's just put him as eight because his contract right, runs cool. up, yeah? And he ain't yeah. signed anything yet. So as it stands, he's going to go, yeah? yeah? Martial's going to go. He's going to come no, back and he's going to go. Back. He's going to mash it up at Sevilla he's... and the new manager. And the new manager's going to be like, come on, stay, please. It's not gonna happen. He, will. he didn't even want to stay and play under Ralph Rand. He doesn't. No, 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 no. They just they say, look, you've enjoyed some football now. Bro, he's been here. This is his seventh year. He's bored. He wants to go from nah. love affairs done. You, uh, you That's, can, anyway, I'm putting him in it. That's nine, yeah. That's nine. No, yeah? I'm telling you right now, don't put him in. Don't how long has he got the contract? Because we don't even sell players at this club. 
How long is this contract? Yeah, I don't know. He probably got about two years it's left. Got like two years, years months, something like that. Yeah, yeah maybe that, that, that that's coming back, fam. All just, right, cool. Yeah. I think he's gone, but that's that's a potential he's nine anyway. That's a potential. Nine, uh, Marshall. All right, eight. All right, you're saying you're eight, saying Marshall's eight. not gone, but he's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah. He's eight. gone. Yeah. He's gone. Yeah. Right. Cavani's gone. That's nine. Ah, oh, straight. But it's peak now. It's peak because the place that he was going to in Barcelona, they just picked up a Bamiang and Traore. So now that Barcelona move might not be looking. I don't know if he, and I don't know if he says, you know, I'm really gonna go home. What if he says there's a project here and he wants to be a part of it? What if we get success? What success? I don't know. We win a FA Cup. We win sign. We back in the Champions League. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, that's nine. Oh, he's getting, he's getting, he's getting, he's getting. He's, getting. he's going. That's <laughs> nine. Let's say, I think the Ronaldo, the Ronaldo one's interesting because. Ronaldo, know, we just have to not finish in the top four. Ronaldo's gone. Yeah. But let's just, all right. So let's just say nine then. Yeah. I yeah. I had like 10, 11, but you, you bumped me down because of X, Y, Z. Yeah. Let's yeah. just say nine. Let's just say nine players. Nine. Is there, players. Uh, is there a chance in hell? That nine players leave the football club and nine players come in as well as a new manager. Not a chance. So uh, really, but, it's about but, oh Donny and Donny. He's gone. Donny's not getting anywhere, bro. Donny's, Donny's gone. Gonna, uh, gonna no, he's not. Oh, Andres Pereira. Um, oh. bro, it could be the delivery people. It could be. All right, answer I'm... the phone. Idiot. He would have missed it. Just mute it. Just this is what I mean about this guy, you know. This is, he's, he's not right. He's really not right. But that's my thing, peeps, yeah? That's my thing with this. It's like, I'm looking towards the summer and I'm like, it should be exciting because it's like, wow, we could get a whole new look Man United team, which in essence, is it should be fun. But there's there's like 10, 11 players. Is it them? No, it was my agent. I'm in another movie, by the way. Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, it's your agent. You spoke to your agent. Don't get excited. Are you? Do you need to text nah, me privately what this is? Nah, I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm, I think I'm allowed to what? talk about it. Because they're talking well, you about... You just said, I think. You just said, I think. Why don't... It's a Top Boy. No, I'm not in Top Boy. I wish I was. Oh. I'm in a I'm in a, I'm in in a. a movie. Ed Sheeran's going to be in it as well, still. It's all over oh, the shit. news, still. Yeah, it's proper. It's a big thing, still. Like, yeah. So, so... you can say it. If yes, Adam, I mean, Adam Deacon's new movie still. Bow, 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 bow. What, <laughs> Opal's, Opal, Opal Fruits, Bad oh. Band Sweet. Um, so, um, you know, remember that Another Hood? He's bringing out another one. He's bringing out um, a sequel, and I'm in it. Bow, let's go. That, new announcement. Love that, love that. Love that, love that, love that. Oh. But yeah, anyway. But it is Elevation. No, stop, bro. That's a big thing. Elevation, bro. It's January, and look, bro. Well, it's not January. It's February the 1st now, and look. Pure elevations for my guys. Pure Wait, elevations for my people. A leak. I'd be that. a leak, Love you know. That. I'd be a leak. Love I'd be that. a leak if I was at Man playing for Man United. I'd leak. Oh, I'm telling you, you'd be horrendous. Oh, be horrendous. Be well, basically, this man's about to leave. Well, I think I can say it because some people might know. But basically, did you hear about Ronaldo? He's leaving, you know. <laughs> what? How? Huh? What? I'd hey, be a leak. Say that. <laughs> and then, your brother, and you'll get pulled into the office and Ralph's like, what? Karen and that head of communi communications people, they're like, Rah, KG, why have you done that? I saw it in the paper. I thought everyone was talking about it so I could say it. Dickhead. Ah! But because I'm talented, they just keep me around, innit? <laughs> <laughs> so deep down, they, deep down they, they consider getting rid of me, but I'm like, oh, nah, let's just keep him. Yeah, anyway, um, man, <laughs> listen, it's not as... Listen, let's be on Man United here. It's I know it's bad, and it's been bad for a long time. The Glazers, yeah, are pricks. We all know this, yeah. It'll be amazing to get rid of them. It'll be a, what we do need because I know people say, "Oh, like some people like Rah KG, you must be a part of the problem because you're just here supporting the Glazers." I'm not. I want us to be bought out. I like if if someone can show me a way of getting the Glazers at the club, yeah, that works. By all means, get it done. But I know the only way we get change is if we're bought by somebody. Let's be honest. Mm. We need to be bought by whoever, yeah? You hope that the Glazers say, you know, they're sick and tired of this. They're not getting that much from the club. They're, they're going to, they're, they're done with it. I don't know if we can, I don't know what the answer is. The fans are not, we can't even agree on players that should be in the starting lineup. So let's not even talk about trying to work together as a, um, 
as a group, we can't even get channels to work together and stuff. So how? You tell me. And then, then when the channels might come together, then you're the E-fans. Then you got to complete with the, um, the top reds. There needs to be some coming together. And I just know we're a long way away from that. So am I going to keep buying my head against the wall that I just know is not working at the moment? I think the strategy has to be different. I have to change how I'm looking at this situation. I'm saying, you know what? Ralph is supposedly getting upstairs. I really hope that works. I honestly hope that works. I pray that he now help, he becomes part of the football decisions and we bring in a new man. We bring in a, either a, a Ten Hag, a Poch, whoever, and they really steer this thing. We've won. There's other teams run worse than us that do better than us. That don't make no sense. You know? Nathan so, says, um, big up Uncle KG. Big up. There. Uh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. CJK Digital says, congrats, KG, Thank as well. You. I mean, people are showing Thank up the love. You. Big up, man. I hear what you're saying. And I will yeah, need I to buy this saying. club. Someone said, when I get in a Marvel movie, am I going to buy this? So you look and tell, so you look and say KG out when I put in a couple million, bruv. Nah, bruv. Nah, no. Nah. Rubbish. I mean, what was even that? I will never buy this club, bruv. Uh, no. That would be wicked, but I would, I would start that protest myself. Of course you would. I'm not really one. I, I don't get involved in like trying to be the leader of stuff and I'm organized. I'm not that guy. But if it's to get you out, get, put, put heat on you. Oh, God. No, you oh, turned me green and gold. Oh. <laughs> I would, and you know what? <laughs> I'd never be a football owner. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's tough. It's tough. But then again, you can make it, you can make it good if you care, innit? If you if you care and you no, you're it's, trying it's, to make the right decisions, been, I understand. Yeah, like you actually have to buy a player every season. The end of, it, it, at transfer yeah, window, you got the money to do it. You acting like you ain't got the peas to do it. You got the peas, bro. No, but run up the peas, man. No, but what if you spend and your team still shit? Like still yeah, getting. You got to keep. Up. You got to spend some more. You got to get the right people making the right decisions. You got to get the right manager. You got right, the right coach and stuff. Next. All right, just imagine I spent. Just imagine you spent a billion. <laughs> And he ain't yeah. got no money. He ain't got, he ain't got nothing to show for it. I'm going yeah. mad. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just imagine. Nah, you tell. Wait, you wait, tell. wait. I'm telling you right now, yeah. So let's all be, forget it's Man United and we love this club, yeah? Yeah. Let's all pretend we have Bitcoin, yeah? And you're the person, oh. that's, you're, <laughs> you're the person that's telling me, listen, it's going to work. It's going to go up. Ethereum, that coin's working, yeah? And I'm the one, so I'm the guy that's been doing, I don't know, the... I'm the middleman between this Bitcoin thing. And you've given me a billion pounds, yeah? You've invested a billion and not one, not one trophy. Are you still investing? Wait, talk to me. Are you still investing? Yeah, I would. I'll keep, it, I'll keep investing because... My, are my Man United supporters still? It's not Man United I'm talking about. I'm just talking about no. investing in Bitcoin. Oh, oh, investing in Bitcoin. Just in I'm just saying, just because yeah. you have to take away, because we love this club. We're attached. That's what I'm saying, but that, but that changes everything, though. We when you're emotionally attached, it changes everything. It changes everything. I need to know. Not a billion. Not a billion. How much have I got? How much have I got? Huh? How much am I worth? I don't think rich people are losing money, though. I don't think that's how they work still. Unless you're fucking, unless you're the Chelsea owner, he doesn't give a damn. Or the, oh, the Newcastle owners, bro. The, the Chelsea owner, the Newcastle owner. There's some clubs that just don't care. PSG, Man City, PSG. Yeah, because them man have got the like. Them man have really got cash. Yeah, them, them man pockets long. What? So you're gonna think with me with my one Marvel movie is gonna change it all? <laughs> <laughs> well, you yeah. might you probably get out of here. Yeah. Bruv, the Marvel movie money, yeah. What? It might it might get a light, it might get a light touch up at the training ground. A light. I can't even, we my movie won't even be able to pay for the TVs in the fucking old Trafford. <laughs> It'll just get a repaint. All I can do is paint the Fergie stand, bruv. <laughs> bruv. You're a mad guy, you know. It's true. You Sometimes are. you just gotta be honest. Listen, don't let you're my guy. You had to know because you had to like the Glazers ain't got no pee, bro. They've rinsed this club oh, dry, Glazers. bro. The Glazers are pricks, innit? The Glazers. And that's like, what happens when your intentions aren't pure, innit? And they're about yourself. You don't we, need care about Jeff we need Jeff Bezos. 
if we're being honest, like if we need a we need a super millionaire that's really trying to compete. That's not millionaire. We need a billionaire. Sorry, billionaire. Super. We need a millionaire. We can't have that. No, 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 no. We just that's ten a penny, bro. Millionaires. Yeah, yeah. Billionaires. billionaires. We've just that is this club's just plaything. All he wants to do is like play around. You know. Um. Didn't they say that um Roman Abramovich bought um Fernando Torres for his son? He's like, here you go. There's Torres. <laughs> yeah. His son loved him. He said, Oh, you want Torres? Bring him down. Do you know what I mean? We need someone to be that ridiculous in the spending for us and not care when it goes wrong. Because we, this is the problem that we have and why we can't just sign anyone. We never let a player go after their shit, though. Like a player comes in, he's been rubbish for us. Like they're still thinking to themselves, oh, Okay, we got Maguire. It's not really gone the way we wanted to go, but it was a lot of money in it. Let's just keep him. And then Maguire, he probably won't yeah, play that much. Him. And then what phases say at the club, and then he's going to leave for free. Yeah, just run the thing down. That's exactly how this thing's going to go. And every single player goes in that order. It's disgusting. Alali says, um, bad is an understatement. We're horrendous. Hashtag KG hot. Um, and <laughs> um, Satchiv says, big up Satchiv. He says, um, big up Flex and KG. United fan from Aussie. Big up, yeah. oh, big, up man. Under. big up, man. Big up the Australians in the, in the cut. And oh, Amazon, we'll leave though? that one where it is. Um, Elon, you know, man said Elon, you know. Listen, um, wicked show, wicked show. I feel like, you know. Can I say something, though, Flex, before we go? You, yeah, you can. Man United fans, don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> they know that already. Nobody's listening to you. No, wait, no, I wanted to know because sometimes... I know everyone is mad serious and angry and upset, yeah. And I just, you, this is me, and it. This is how I deal with things, yeah. I just, <laughs> I just do this honestly. And I know you got to take it. You have to take it with a pinch of salt in it. Like, like if you're, if I'm your main kind of information, please, <laughs> you're in big trouble. <laughs> I'm just saying for you, please someone else. I'm here for an hour. And this is how my mind works. And I, I tell you guys, don't take, don't put too much credence in what I say. So basically, you're just discrediting everything we're doing and telling people not to watch you. No, I'm saying watch it. <laughs> but just say, this guy's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> as soon as you watch it, but after you go, dickhead. Just take your pinch of salt, like the papers. That's what we should do, just like the papers. How when you read that, we're linked to a certain player? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, one thing I've, I'm learning, which I should have learned a long time ago, is this thing of, like, journalists just, like, say one thing, like, oh, we're linked to this guy. It's like, <laughs> we're just not. You're just lying. <laughs> And then, and then we're like, yeah, that's the guy we need. I've been sitting. How do you know that's the guy we need? Because you know, Twitter says I was. Uh, there was this guy. There was this guy. I'll share the story just quickly. Yeah, go and share. Uh, it. One at one at one of the games. This I'm not gonna say which game. It was one, one of the games recently. Yeah, I, it was after after everything. This this film or something. One guy come over and he goes, he goes, oh, you don't you don't represent United. You're you know you know you're this you're that. Just start chucking it. Yeah. And I'm, so I just started laughing. I said, oh, so um, since you uh, don't like YouTube and now you've just put yourself in this video, we may as well just do the interview. <laughs> like you're in the video. You just put, you don't like it, but you just put yourself in the thing and said something into the mic. You're in the video. So I was like, yeah. he's like, ah, oh, and you're a Spurs fan. He goes, you're not even a real, you, you support Spurs. So I said to him, I said, yeah, where'd you, like, what is that? Like, where'd you, where did you get that from? I said to him, I said to him, where, this is how I know the world's gone. I said, where did you get that from? He said, Twitter. <laughs> I said, I said, so I started laughing. His, I go, ah, Twitter. I said, what do you mean? He goes, yeah, Twitter. I goes, what? I goes, oh, Twitter told you. He's like, yeah, I saw it. I was like, what else so, do you get from Twitter? Like, someone, what? Like, someone said on someone on Twitter said I support Arsenal. Ah, rubbish. I mean, what was even that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Nah. I pick another club, please. Can you oh imagine? My God. That's what I'm saying. People be to hear and stuff and just they run with it. the only time that I really mean it, yeah, just so you can understand me. Is if I'm <laughs> upset, when I'm really upset, yeah, about something, when I'm serious, oh, that's when I'm spitting. That's when I think like I'm on point. But when I'm just in this mode, 
Yeah, you gotta take him a pinch of salt, fam. And yeah. I might be right. I just in that moment, I might be right though. I might be again, Rashford. <laughs> Rashford, I want I got my flowers yesterday. I was right about Rashford, got his girlfriend back, top bins. People said raw, mm. it can't be it was that, bruv. She was gone for eight months. Let's look at it. Let's look at the he had a bad eight months. Saying she went at home, the house is not home, Leaf of Andros settings. But now he now the <laughs> hey, big now, <laughs> now the house is at home. <laughs> I'm saying double figures end of the season. Uh, like honestly, honestly, just I think the moral of the story is, uh, guys and girls and kids, don't listen to the internet. The internet is a very yeah, that's a weird place. And actually, on a serious note, on a serious note though, if you are like people getting onto you on the internet or you struggle with the internet and people try and belittle you and just yeah, just turn it off. I promise you, you'll be okay. Yeah. Come off it. I promise you, you'll be okay. Your life would not be any worse. Yeah, just, just pricks. Just, that's yeah. the, that's the, <laughs> literally just li that's it turn it off bro any oh the internet is a weird place the internet is just crazy bro can it you imagine it can be I crazy off on a tangent we can stay for a few minutes we can stay for yeah a, a yeah, year yeah, yeah. yeah no 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 it's like the other day yeah obviously Rihanna's pregnant yeah and everyone's been doing Drake memes <laughs> and Drake so just silly like, like, I'm gonna lie I said something to you. Yeah, of course you did because you that's just what you do but like you said, do you think Big Drake cares? He, I don't know. What he, I don't know what he's feeling, but he was trending when his, his ex it's so like, stupid. Like, that's crazy. Still. Like, why? He's on. He's got his own kit. He's moved. Like, what? Why does he, Drake doesn't care. <laughs> no, but that new album is going to be crazy. It's you never know. Emotional. Bare emotional, bare it's emotional. Not be, it's not gonna I, be. And Drake might even say a name, Rihanna. You know, how he, you know, he sings it like, I don't know, but it will seem like a subliminal. But then he'll say stuff like, Um, what you call it when I found out you're pregnant? I'm not talking about her, you know, stuff stupid stuff. What the hell? I love Drake. Hey, can you tell I'm in a silly mood? 100%. 100%. I can. But I'm saying, yeah. and this is this is so off topic, I'm saying he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't care. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. That's the, that's he doesn't the, care. The real reality is he doesn't care. Fact. Oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we didn't do we didn't we didn't say what the score's gonna be for the game coming up. And we playing on Friday. Yeah, playing Middlesbrough. Oh, you don't do it. Cup. Middlesbrough I'm FA the, Cup. I'm not doing the score. Friday. Yeah, I'm not doing the score. Middlesbrough FA Cup Friday. Old Trafford. Oh yeah. Um don't give predictions. Score, predictions in the chat. Predictions in the chat. I'm not going nah, to. Why are you trying to get? Why are you trying to get the chat? Go go over the chat. Say say it with your chest, bub. Have your own prediction. No nah, predictions in prediction. the chat. Four nil. They're saying four nil. Oh. Uh, wait, four nil win. Four nil. Um, three nil. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with. The, I'm gonna. Oh, David Lee. That's the. He. I call him the. He's proper. Like he knows stuff. Yeah. David Lee says 4 0. It's 4 0. <laughs> David knows. What? David, what? Just because I, David you don't Lee know says 4 0, you can say it's more about David. David says we're going to score now, and we score. <laughs> That's how he does on the, on no, the match. I trust you. On the match, he, is, he goes, <laughs> any night they're going to score now. <laughs> and we score. It's mad. Does he also say, does he also say we're going to concede now? No, he's never done that. Yeah, so what do you do? Just not tell you them then all them times we've gone conceded. Now that you say that. So how reliable is it then? It is reliable though, because he's mad right. Listen, he's a mod, so respect him. <laughs> yeah, big up David Lee. Um, I'm just gonna say, uh, I hope we win. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I will say about that game, what I will say about that game is that um there could be no messing about strongest team possible, please. There's no none of this, the only championship, it's a chance for this. The only thing that should happen is maybe if Pogba is fit enough, like let's get him some game time, give him a start. You know what I mean? Hey. Put him straight in or whatever, but and Other if we if we lose, all the takes I said about not needing signings and stuff, that's out the window. 
I'd be like, I'd be feeling like everyone else. We can't lose you though. If we was ever to no, lose, we can't. Yeah, we can't go out to me. I'm gonna be like, how dare we do that with a January transfer window? No, no, no. If yeah, I will listen. That will be a catastrophe going out. We'll Bruno don't, even, don't even put that into the. Don't even put we'll that into the Bruno We'll be fine. Better be. Better right. be. Anyway, listen, everyone, smash a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. Uh, thanks for rocking with us, man. That was that was good fun. Some serious thanks. chat at the beginning, and then we do what we do in it, and then we just go off on a tangent and have some fun. But that's what it's about. That's what it's about. It's right. about having fun. It's not just about moaning all the time. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, because um, he wants to listen to moaning for, for, for 60 or 40 minutes, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Get out of here. That's it. <sighs> Big up yourselves, man. Um, we'll be back very, uh, very, very soon with more content for you lot, man. Peace. We're out of it.